been wanting to start a new project. So I've asked um, people from a di- uh, sorry um, a group, a Facebook group that I'm in, on what my next project should be. So I get, gave them four different options. This is what they chose. Most of the people, actually, I gave them four different choices. So I'll show it. Um, I'll attach a photo of what are the choices that I gave them. Fourteen people who said that I should actually work on that instead, and then there was um, the second, the second um, diamond painting kit that um, I showed was of a woman tilting his head, her head backwards. So I got that particular um, design got eight votes, and then the third one is um, shows two different sea turtles, two. Turtles kitting, but it only got one vote. I I have a feeling it's because on the photo itself it wasn't clear, so not a lot of people voted on that. Actually, only one voted on that. And then the last one was a very very colorful owl, and I got 16 votes on that. So without further ado, this is the diamond painting that I'll be doing next. So bear in mind that um, I'll be actually um, bringing this to the camping as well. If I don't finish it this week, I'll bring it to the camping next. Um, the camping that I'll be going to next week. So um, this particular uh, painting has 24 um, colors. And uh, these are the, the drills that came with it. But what I'll be doing is instead of using this container for um, for the drills, I'll be using a different set of container instead. So because this particular container can fit up to 56 um, different colors, I don't want to use such a huge container for just 24 colors. So I decided to use this instead. So this is a box that came from my husband's um, um, tools or maybe equipment that he uses at work. So my husband is an engineer, so he he installs I don't know routers or I don't know what what he installs at work. But um, sometimes he comes home with empty boxes, and this is one of them. So I felt that. Um, so I, I have I have a lot of these um, bottles, screw cap bottles. Um, I have lying around. I ordered them from um, AliExpress. I'll I'll put a link on where I got this from. So I got about 120 pieces of these bottles for about twenty dollars. But it doesn't come with any container. So what I did was I used my husband's um, empty box. Them inside, I could since this particular canvas has about 24 pieces. I decided to put 25 different bottles, to put 25 different bottles. So I added one, one more bottle for trash, so that I can keep all the um, trash, um, all the all the trash um, drills inside this container, so I can show it to you after. After I've worked on it, and then on the side, on the extra side, I put on my tweezers. My this is um, um this is a whiteboard marker that I use, and then I have my my pen, my drill pen, which comes with a single placer and the four placer on it. I put two squishies on it because when I hold the pen, I hold it in the I decided to put the uh, so uh, I don't hold the 
pen so low, I decided to put it up on the up on the pen instead so that um, it covers more, I guess. The squishy will cover more if I put it higher. Yeah. So that's what I did. And then I have this. So part of my 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 part of the tools that I use is this. I bought this particular pen of Aliexpress. I'll put the link down on the comment below. So I use this pen because I wanted to stop holding my pen straight down because this actually strains when I when I use the regular uh, drill pen. It strains my hand. Uh, it strains my hand after doing diamond painting for a long time it strains my hand so I decided maybe I should try buying the 45 the, the bended tip um, drill pen instead so when I hold it it's like I'm holding it um, like a regular pen when when we write something with a regular pen we hold the pen on a 45 degree angle right so I decided to buy a, a bended tip to mimic the way we hold a uh, regular pen when we write. But the problem with this, um, I discovered when I started using it, is that when the problem with this is that when we place a pen, uh, sorry, a drill on the canvas itself, I have a hard time moving the, the drill on the spot that I want. So the pressure, because you have to apply pressure when you want to, to move a uh, gem or a drill from the canvas to a spot that you want, um, it, there's not much pressure that you could, um, that you could use when, when, when you use a bended, um, bended drill pen. Not unlike when you use um, a regular tip, because if the pressure is straight down, you can move it anywhere you want. So, so um, I ended up not using this as much. I sometimes use it when um, I sometimes use it, but um, I don't really use it that much. My main go-to pen is still the, the regular drill pen. Yeah, but this one comes. At, um, I've attached the knife placer here. I um, I started using multi placers when I first started using multi placers. I actually used the nine placer because that's the only multi-placer that I had. I I only got a four four placer um four four placer um one um, after I I don't know after a few maybe two months after I started doing diamond painting so I started working uh, I I I became, became very adept in using the knife placer um, because that's the only thing that I had. I, I didn't have the six placer, I didn't have the fourth placer. So um, I don't know why people have a hard time using the knife placer. <laughs> Since this is, I started out with this, I never had a problem with it. Same thing with square drills. So with, um, when I started out diamond painting as well, I work, I started with a knife placer. I'm uh, sorry, uh, with square drills. I, I didn't um, try round drills until my son actually wanted to try diamond painting. So that's the only time I tried the round diamond painting because he wanted me to help him out with his diamond painting. So my son is actually six years old. When he saw me started doing this new hobby of mine, he was very intrigued and wanted to do it on his own. But because I was working on a square um, painting, he couldn't put the drills line up the drills properly so I decided to buy to go to reject shop and buy him his own kit so um, 
Reject Shop is a shop here in Australia that sells um, a few um, diamond paintings, but it's all the small type paintings, and mostly it's for cute small paintings that are good to start with, and maybe um, for beginners and for kids, they would love to um, the designs. Not that much. The ones that I've seen in in, in reject shops so far would only be about two to three at a time. So I haven't really. I don't really buy kits from there. I only bought one because um, my son wanted to try one. I wasn't sure whether he would like it or not. So I don't understand why a lot of people have uh, feels intimidated by by the by using uh, sorry uh, feels intimidated trying out the squares uh, because when <laughs> I started out with it and I never had a problem with it so lining it lining it up isn't a problem so I I I use the checkerboard. huge blocks of, of colors. I usually use the checkerboard pattern sometimes. It depends on the drills. Sometimes I use the knife placer and recently since I got the um, fourth placer I use them also. Yeah so I never had a problem with it. I don't understand why people are intimidated by it. Maybe if you're Problems controlling their, you know, controlling their um, gross motor skills or fine motor skills. I mean, that would be a problem, but for adults, I think it should be a problem. Yeah, maybe it, maybe it's a bit smaller, and you have to be meticulous in lining up the the, the drills properly. But um, the overall result is actually, I feel. It's actually better than the rounds. I didn't like seeing the because when you put two round drills together, there's spaces in between. So I didn't like the overall result of that. I wanted the finished look of the squares. So most of my paintings are in squares. And so the the one that I did that I just finished was actually a full full. Um, Drill in uh, full square drills. Yeah. Um, the next one after um, this particular painting, after the owl, I will be working on another full square uh, painting. If I have the choice of actually um, buying square or rounds, I will probably choose squares. I like um, when I did rounds and then went back to squares I felt such relief um, and you know I enjoy working on squares more than the rounds <laughs> I know it's weird because other people get stressed over over um, squares but for me it's the other way around so I know it's a matter of preference so I understand a lot of people rounds more because um, you don't have to be as meticulous in placing the drill. Yeah, so sometimes what I do is that um, after, in between big projects, big square projects, I will actually do a square, uh, sorry, a round, a small round in between. So, which is why this one, this owl, is... Excited to see you. 
excited for camping next week. This is the first time that we'll be camping ever. I've never camped before. I did when I was in school, but that was a long time ago. And I don't consider it as camping. Uh, this is the first time that I will be doing camping. It's the first time for my son and for my husband as well. So we'll be going with um, with a with a huge group of friends, and we'll be crabbing and fishing as well. That's the reason why I'm so excited because I haven't um, went fishing for the longest time. The last time I did it was like you know I was still in high school. So, um, here in Australia, you actually, you have to get a license to do fishing and crabbing as well. And there are certain places where you can go fishing. I'm excited to try that one now. We'll be going to, um, we tried booking a cabin or a villa for our group, but because, um, we booked too late. There's a holiday coming up. No villa. There's no venue available for us. Anyway, I found this. Um, I found a campsite nearby. And they still have available sites. So I feel so lucky that I um, was still able to. filled with food and all the other stuff that um, we'll be needing for camping. I don't think there'll be space for I don't think there'll be space for diamond painting. <laughs> Could pay me to do diamond painting for her. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm actually open for um, for I'm open for that. So if there are people who wanted to have a diamond painting but don't have the time or the you know the patience to do this, I'm actually open uh, to do it for you for a fee. Yeah. So if you need if you want someone want a diamond painting of your own in your house, if you want a custom diamond painting of your own, I can do it for you for a fee. Yeah. So you can contact me down below. I'll add um, a link my social media, my Instagram, my Instagram and my email so that you can reach me if you're interested. This is a um, this is a diamond painting that I did on my own, and I wanted to showcase it right in the middle of the kitchen. Ooh, I really love this. It looks so nice. This is five fifty. It's not. It's not. Um, there's no DMC codes on it. But The bottles itself, I think, can hold up to seven or eight bags of um, drills. I remember putting seven bags in one, and it's still filled. It's able to um, it's able to hold up to seven. I don't I don't remember whether. It Containers are too small. You can only hold up to four, um, four, four bags of drills in each um, box in each um, in each container. And sometimes when you're doing a big painting, you have a lot of leftovers. That's the reason why I was having. I had two different containers. One for one for those open um, bags of drills and then the rest that I couldn't fit into the into this container I had to keep them separate so I was like why do I subject myself to two different containers why do I have to use two different containers when I could just use one which is why I had to buy a bigger container
start working on this. I'm cleaning my tomorrow. Hopefully, I can do the diamond ring very slowly until I get at least until I get the my big painting so that I can actually bring this bring this to the camp camping to my um, to the campsite. So I don't have to kid and be kid. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you like this like I did, please give me a thumbs up so I know that I'm doing the right thing. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you promptly. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you haven't done so. Before you go, remember to sparkle like no other. See you on my next video. Bye!